I'm Jeremy from Rockland Wheels, and uh, we're proud to be a new Honda Power Sports dealership. With me, I have the Pioneer 500, which is our entry level Pioneer, our entry level side by side from Honda. And from every review and anything I've ever uh, read, I think it's the most misunderstood machine that Honda makes. This is small, compact size, 50 inches wide. It's extremely nimble, it'll tackle all the trails very well. It's got a nice sporty feel. It does offer tons of room on the inside. And essentially, Honda doesn't make a true up ATV. This is true up ATV size. So that might hint that this is Honda's answer to a true up ATV. And to me, from my driving experience, it does feel like a mashup between an ATV and a side-by-side, -side, and it's a lot of fun. So one thing that uh, Honda has a big focus on is safety. They want to make sure that your riders are really safe in here. And this is, we can see that in our door and netting combo. So this netting is going to keep your arms and your shoulders, everything inside the cab in case of a rollover. And then this half door adds comfort, but it also keeps a lot of protection for your legs. They're very easy to operate. And then it offers seating that I could get in there nice and easy. And I'm not a small guy, but it's comfortable. And then we've got the full three-point harnesses for both our driver and our passenger. Now this might be one of the biggest source of controversies that everything I've seen on the Honda is the rear is a rack instead of a traditional box. But from my experience, a rack is very useful. We could tie anything we need on there and there is optional boxes that we can put on there and add all the cargo space. So in terms of offering space, this has more space than a traditional sport side-by-side -side in terms of cargo area and it's got quite a bit of flexibility when you're, you let your imagination run wild. Um, again, that's pulling a little bit of the ATV card as well. Talking about the ATV and side-by-side -side mashup. And uh, for anybody who knows me, I'm not a little guy, but I'm comfortable in here for such a, a compact machine. And we've got it in the automatic setting. I could put it in uh, uh, manual if I wanted, but uh, let's see how this feels. That is very cool. We got that sensation of being in like a little sports car here. Man, I could really place this wherever I needed in the trail. That 50 inch wide really delivers. And it is sporty. Tackling corners and everything with this, not a problem. And that's the difference with the 50 inch wide machine. I could place it wherever I choose. And for a smaller, more compact machine, the suspension still answers very well. Just confirming what I was saying earlier, definitely this machine, to me, feels like Honda's answer to a two up riding ATV. The engine that we find in here is Honda's tried and true 500cc engine that they use in their quads. It's fuel injection, it's liquid cooled, and they, Honda does things that we don't see any of the other manufacturers doing. They have a focus on fuel efficiency. They have a focus on the way the engine is put together. They really go strong on the engineering of this. They also, in all their brochures and all their talks, they always talk about having the crankshaft longitude. So their engine is mounted this way, going front to back on the machine, keeping it very balanced and very easy and they could also make the engine a little bit smaller. Another thing, and if we see here in the steering, that's right, paddle shifts. This has the automatic transmission, automotive style, that we find in their Honda ATV lineup. So we could select our gears. The other thing too is there's no wear items. So on a traditional ATV or side-by-side, -side, pretty much anything else on the market, we have a belt and we have clutches. With age, the belt is a sure thing. What, what a lot of people don't know, with high mileage, your clutches are also going to be a sure thing that you're going to need to service or replace. With an automatic transmission like this, we're going to keep low maintenance and high fun. I can stay in the gear I want, I can pick the torque I need, and really make the, the machine a ton of fun. So the dash layout here, even though it's compact, uh, is very practical and everything is nice and ergonomically correct. Our gauge package right in the middle, we can see from the driver and the passenger side, we've got our speed, our gear, and our fuel efficiency uh, marked down pretty easily. 
This little trick is a lot of fun too, because we go from manual transmission to fully automatic transmission. We don't need to worry about shifting. If we play around with the paddle shifts, we're gonna take over the automatic anyways. Also, we've got that selectable two wheel to four wheel drive, right on the dash and easy of use. Both driver and passenger get a nice cup holder. They went nice and aggressive with the styling up front, giving us a lot of attitude, a lot of design features that make this machine look aggressive and keeping it compact. I think they really pulled it off and making a really nice package. 